Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to another episode of Tech Blocks, a game that I haven't looked at in three months. Because three months ago, we just had this one world to race on and build our uh, vehicles on. But I've noticed that there's monster trucks in this game now. This was not the thing we could build before. These wheels are new wheels. I'm pretty sure the suspension is new. So building monster trucks is a thing now. We had a dirt course. And we even have a world editor where apparently you can just build your own world to race on as well. So I just mostly wanted to check out the monster trucks, but uh, let's just let's just check out what this game is like since the last time I played it a couple months ago. Ah, yes, my cars that I've built in the past, my go kart and my you know let's let's spawn in my go kart on the uh, monster truck course because <laughs> that makes the most sense, right? What if I put monster truck wheels on my go kart? I'm gonna try to do that. I don't know if they're gonna, they're not gonna fit. I'm gonna have to make some modifications, but it'll be kind of fun. Uh, just in case you guys forgot, this is a pre, pre, super pre alpha version of the game. So everything you're seeing right now is super early stages and I have to actually remember how to play this. This is my go kart. Oh yeah, I remember I put like a massive engine on the go-kart just to see what would happen. All right, well, let's just spawn in the map and explore the map with the go-kart for now. Oh, there's like, oh, is that a jump? I want to see jumps on this thing. How do I play this game again? All right, here we go. All right, so um, I'm wondering, I don't, oh my goodness. It's actually like, oh, it's muddy. The terrain has a different handling to it. I wasn't sure if it if the game was gonna have that yet. This is actually satisfying. Okay, hold on. I really need to uh, get under control here. I wonder if the different wheels then have different tractions. Look at this. I can do legitimate drifting in my go-kart on this course. I gotta be honest, I didn't expect spawning a go-kart on this course to actually be fun, but, <laughs> but sliding around like this actually is. Man, imagine Imagine the drift potential if you could tune a car. Oh man, you could drift so well on this thing. Oh, this thing has so much power. This is really, really fun. This is actually really fun. Oh no. <laughs> okay, so I got a feel for the course. This seems like a pretty fun course. Uh, let's spawn back in the garage and check out. I got to learn how to build again. Let's see if we can add some monster truck wheels to this go-kart. I think that would be hilarious. Okay, so here is our build menu. Here's some car parts. So you can see we got different wheels here. Um, so we're using the go-kart wheel. This is a formula wheel. So this is like a regular size right here. And let's see how this is a monster truck wheel. I think I can actually fit. I think I might actually be able to fit these wheels next to each other if I just make room uh with the rest of this stuff oh there's other engines too i have a sedan engine in this thing but there is a formula engine which is oh my goodness 900 horsepower as opposed to the 220 horsepower and then we got monster truck 1500 horsepower i could i want to put this on the go-kart oh i want to bring the go-kart back and put this on there there we go oh no oh the engine is facing the wrong way i don't think it matters uh, but let's see what happens. Oh my good. It's okay. Okay. Oh, <laughs> listen to that sound. <laughs> I don't think this is the right course for this. Oh boy. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. You know, I, I'm just realizing that a monster truck engine probably isn't, is more about, uh, it's probably more about power than speed, but I just had to put it on a go-kart, of course. You know what, we're probably gonna need this on here anyway if we're gonna be putting big uh, monster truck wheels because we're gonna need, we're gonna need to move the wheels, you know? We need the, uh, we need the power to rotate the wheels themselves. All right, before we go too crazy with deleting stuff, let's actually see what happens if I try to put a monster truck wheel rig with steering on it. It's got suspension, it's got steering and brakes that can all be linked to the whole no. It is massive. Okay, I think I found a very, very strange solution to my problem. I can copy parts like this. So I can go ahead and cut that. Now, if I want to paste it, like, look, I could just paste the whole thing. But I think what I want to do is actually build upwards. Okay, so now I should be able to <laughs> place that right there. This is such a weird workaround. All right, and then we can delete those. And now let's add our monster truck wheel rig wheel thing. All right, this is 
definitely not how this is supposed to attach. I'm gonna need to give this an attachment point. All right, I'm just gonna put a huge pillar right here. All right, we're gonna have to get rid of that. Create some, oh yeah, look at this. Look at this, perfect. Perfect. <laughs> this is gonna be the most ridiculous creation ever. All right, I think that'll stay attached there too. Okay, now I gotta do that over here. And now monster trucks tend to have four wheel steering, so that's what we're gonna do with the go-kart. We're gonna give it four wheel steering. Okay, now let's go to the monster truck wheels. Attach these things up. Oh my, it's perfect. We have literally the perfect distance for these not to collide with each other. This is turning out way more doable than I thought it was going to be. All right, is the engine hooked up automatically? It looks like it is hooked up automatically. I hope the steering is appropriate. All right, now let's turn these into chrome. Simple as that. Oh, I made, ooh, that actually looks pretty cool, doesn't it? What if I do the wheels chrome? Oh, that does look nice. Turning the uh, the rims of the wheels chrome. Yeah. All right, and here it is, the monster carts. A much crazier thing that I was anticipating making for this video. Oh no. Oh, I can already see the weight on the back because of the engine. We're totally gonna tip over when we drive this. Wait, can I? How do you get in? How do I? I, can I not? How do you get in a vehicle like this? Can I do this? Oh, here we go. All right, I did it. You just gotta get close enough. Oh. <laughs> oh no. It's terrible. Oh, and the steering, of course, the steering is messed up as well. Uh, I had a feeling that was gonna happen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I've made some adjustments. I've uh, separated the wheels a little bit so they don't collide when I have them steering against each other. Uh, I had to put a logic gate on here, an inverter logic gate to invert the steering signal to the rear wheels so we actually get appropriate four wheel steering. And of course I've added a wheelie bar onto this thing because otherwise there's no way we're going to stay upright. So let's see if all these modifications have made this thing drivable. The drivable monster cart. All right, here we go. Oh, you can already, the wheelie bar is very, is doing a lot of work. It's very, very useful. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> that turn was feeling awesome. Too bad I couldn't keep it. I couldn't keep the control after it. Okay, so yeah, these wheel dimensions, they make no sense. This wheelbase is very nonsensical. Having this much more width than length on your car is just not a good recipe for control. But we're, we're actually driving this course kinda. Ooh. Okay, don't worry, we're a monster truck. We're built for this. Did I just bottom? I am so bottomed out, like perfectly on this right now. <laughs> oh, no, no, we're a monster truck, we got this. All right, I may be on the wrong part of the course here, and we're gonna do what monster trucks do best, and that is climb obstacles. Come on, come on, you can do, all right, I just need a little bit, hold on, just need a little bit of momentum. All right, come, you know what's, you know what's not helping me? My wheelie bar. My wheelie bar is hurting me now. Come on, yeah, we're doing it, we're doing it. Get over, just get the other, the other wheels. Oh no, I think we've legitimately bottomed out now. Our wheels don't seem to have any more grip. All right, I've respawned myself back in. Let's see if we can actually finish the rest of this course with this monster cart. Oh okay, yeah, here we go, here we go. We're gonna get some action here. It's a little bit of action, woo! And we can really see the, oh <laughs> no. I was doing that on purpose. It's all part of the, uh, it's all part of the pro gamer stunt moves. These are all never before attempted stunts. Oh yeah, this is a jump right here. This is it right here. Let's get as much speed as we can. Woo! Holy cow. Oh, come on, maintain control. Every single landing, this thing just wants to do a 180. Who would have thought that a monster cart wouldn't have had the best handling? But uh, you can't tell me it doesn't work. I mean, it definitely doesn't work great, but hey, on this channel, it doesn't have to work great. It just has to work. And this monster cart, it definitely works. Okay, really quick, let's head over to the world editor. I just wanna see what the world editor, how it actually works, what it's all about. All right, here we are. Is this grass? Oh, 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 This I'm, I can place this tile down. All right, so we got grass tile. We've got grass tile with uh, a mound. We could add like a little hill right here, just like that. But of course, the important thing is the road. You can build roads. 
with like turns, big turns, just like this. That oh man, you could just build a race course. You could just straight up so easy to build a race course. What is this? Like a start line? There we go. There's a start line. Looks like we got a wider turn here, and even a wider turn here. Here, let's delete part of this mound that I made. Look at that. You can basically create like the golden mean of uh, turning. <laughs> And it looks like you can build, whoa, you could just build like regular stuff into the terrain here. Like I could just put a seat down. I could build this into the world itself or I could put trees down, all kinds of decorative objects. What else we got here? What is material? Oh, there's a, these are, so if I build walls, check this out. If I go ahead and use this and I put like a barrier here, I could then go to the materials and turn this into a fence just like that and then change the color to be more fence-like. There we go, you can make a chain link fence. What other materials do we have then? I can make a wooden wall. I can make like a metallic wall, like a sheet metal wall. I don't know what that is, like marble or something. That's pretty cool. You could build like a house. You could go through a house if you wanted to. Oh, and look at this. You even have other landscape options. So we had all of these. Oh, ooh, this is, this is the bridge. This is the bridge from the uh, original map. All right, and then you also have the dirt as well. So you could have a multi-terrain course that goes from road to dirt. So you could have like, you know, an all-terrain all vehicle if you wanted. You could create a dirt circuit. Dirt, dirt kit. Dirt kit. Yeah, you could create some really fun stuff, especially for the monster trucks. All right, well, it's exciting to see all these updates just in the last couple of months. It's a lot of progress, and this is like pre, pre, pre alpha. I'm really curious what the game's gonna look like in beta for that matter. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you wanna see more tech blocks on the channel, let me know down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this, you'll probably enjoy some other stuff on the channel that you can find on the end screen right here. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.